Hello, it's Pierre from Gigi Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a brush stroke effect overlay in Figma. Now, there is a good news and also a bad news when it comes to creating these type of effects. And the bad news, since we want to start over there, is that we don't have a native way to create brush strokes within Figma, but there is a really neat workaround which enables you still to have a very flexible uh, brush strokes uh, overlays and uh, to really create some uh, high level of uh, um, effects uh, within uh, Figma. So in order to create uh, this type of effect, uh, we're going to need to create uh, a SVG file out of uh, the brush stroke. So the difficult way to go about it is uh, to create it manually, but the easier way, which is what I usually do whenever clients ask me for these type of effects, uh, is uh, to simply go on a website where I can find an SVG of a brush stroke. And at the moment, my favorite one is uh, FreePeak. There's tons of resources such as brush strokes uh, uh, and of course, much, much more. But essentially what you want to do is to simply search for brush stroke and you're going to want to filter by vector because we're going to need the ASPG version. So in order to do that, uh, you can simply download, uh, um, there's going to be for some of, the fi of these files, the SVG directly, but uh, if uh, you uh, don't have find, you can simply download uh, the EPS, uh, which is basically a vector file format, uh, and uh, you can uh, utilize uh, a software such as uh, Illustrator in order to open up uh, the EPS file, and then uh, you right click, uh, you click on export selection, then you export uh, the SVG file format. So this is going to enable you to just uh, drag and drop uh, the SVG directly into your Figma file. You don't necessarily need to use Illustrator. That's just one of the tools which you can use. There's also uh, converters online for free that uh, enable you to switch an EPS file to an SVG. So you can simply Google EPS to SVG and uh, that'll probably do the trick. Uh, you're going to find tons of free resources to do that. And then once uh, you have uh, the individual brush stroke, which you can simply drag and drop the file directly into Figma, you're going to have something around these lines. You can then uh, find uh, your image or even uh, um, any vector composition that uh, you added in Figma. And you want to basically put the image above uh, the brush stroke and you can even uh, decrease the opacity in order to see exactly where you are locating this. Uh, and then uh, once uh, the layer is above, uh, simply select both uh, the brush stroke and the image, and then click uh, on use as mask. And just like magic, you're going to have your brush stroke, which if you notice, is still going to be two individual layers. So you can still have flexibility and edit this uh, uh, as you will. So really hope this video was helpful and if you want to learn more about Figma entirely for free we have uh, tons of free resources uh, uh, on our website which I'm leaving in the description as well as many free videos on our channel. I'll see you in the very next one.